What up everybody, welcome back to this whole section of back here bringing another video. Today's video is going to be a prediction video. I kind of wanted to wait to kick it off on like the Royal Rumble. I I just didn't get there, so I'm going to kick it off with the biggest WWE pay-per-view of the year, WrestleMania. I'm going to be doing my WrestleMania predictions, so here we go. First match I'm going to talk about here is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I've heard that Goldberg's going to win it. Personally, I hope Samoa Joe returns and wins it, but then again, I kind of don't. I feel like if you have any momentum, winning it kind of stops you and slows you down in your tracks. But if I have to pick someone, I'm picking Samoa Joe. Next, we have the Women's WrestleMania Battle Royal, whatever they are calling it. My prediction to win is going to be Becky Lynch. She's who I want to win. I feel like without being champion, SmackDown Live, the women's division is built on her, and she deserves the win. The match, I hope, opens the show and is not on the pre-show because this match has the possibility to steal the show. Mustafa Ali versus Cedric Alexander. The two best, like, athletes or cruiserweights in the division just going head-to-head. -head. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully, WWE gives this time to be great. But I think Cedric Alexander is going to win. The next match is hard to predict because the only who Braun Strowman's partner is going to be if it is a big name returning, Braun's definitely going to win. Because you don't want to be a big name returning and lose. That's just not intelligent. But if it's a smaller name, I pick the bar to win. That's just all I can tell you. The Raw Women's Championship match. Alexa Bliss vs. Nia Jax. Best friends turn better enemies. I feel like they're really drawing this feud out. I mean, in the past few weeks, they really rushed it together. So, I mean, I hope they can put on a good match. But I, I have no idea. I hope Alexa Bliss wins, but Nia Jax is probably going to win. Next, we have the United States title match. Um, I feel like Rusev, like, looks like he's going to win because of the momentum he's been getting, but I feel like that just means he's not going to win, uh, winning lately on SmackDown, but I also don't think, I think that means he won't be in the final decision because that would hurt his momentum. I personally, I think Jinder is going to win, or, um... Bobby, I feel like those two are going to be in the decision. One of them is going to win, and they're going to pin the other one to do it. Because, I don't know, maybe Randy's going to get the pin. Maybe Jinder will pin Randy, but I am not sure. But for prediction, I pick Jinder. The next match is the SmackDown Live Women's Championship match. Charlotte Flair versus Asuka. Ooh, I hope this match is good. You know, athleticism versus hard-hitting strikes. Uh, I, don't, I don't want Charlotte to lose... But I know the streak isn't going to end and Asuka is going to become champion. I hope she stays on SmackDown for the title and doesn't have like go to Raw with a SmackDown title. But I pick Asuka to win. All the talk about show stealing is surrounded around the IC title and the Cruiserweight title. But this is the match I'm excited to see personally. Um, just because of what the Usos and the New Day did together. I feel like the Bludgeon Brothers can just add so much to that, mostly Luke Harper. But I feel like it's just going to be a great match. And I see the Bludgeon Brothers winning the titles. The next match is the IC title match. The Miz versus Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. A lot goes into this match. Seth Rollins, I mean, I want him to win. I love Seth Rollins. He's a great athlete, and he deserves the workhorse belt. I feel like he can just do so much with that belt. And uh, he would just... It, it, feel, it fits him. I feel like that is Seth Rollins' belt. But I mean, if Finn Balor comes out in the Demon Attire to WrestleMania, his first WrestleMania as the Demon, I feel like there's no way he can really lose. So if Balor's the Demon, he's definitely going to win. But my pick is Seth Rollins. But, yeah, I mean, like, Miz is about to beat the record for the longest reigning IC champ. So maybe they want to have him do that. Maybe they'll work in the storyline. He was so close. That's all he ever wanted type of thing. I have no idea. Maybe he going to take time off for his child. I don't know. But I pick Seth Rollins. This match just... I don't even know. I, For some reason, I feel like it might just be awful when it's a bunch of indie guys and the guy who acts like he's from the indies all in a tag team match. Um... I pick the uh, authority figures to win, and then uh, Cammy is going to attack them, and then, like, go to Raw. <laughs> That's what I pick. But to win the match, 
I pick Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. The next match is The Undertaker vs. John Cena. I don't, I don't even know, like, I thought it was gonna be cool. And then they had The Undertaker not showing up storyline. And then, like, I'm just like, you know, I'm not interested in this anymore. If Cena wins, cool. If Taker wins, cool. Um, who do I pick to win? Probably Taker. I see Cena taking the pin. Next up, we have WWE's biggest power couple versus Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey. Ugh. I don't feel like Ronda should lose in her debut, but I don't see Stephanie losing. Maybe it's Kurt takes the pin from Hunter. I don't know, but I pick Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle to win. Believe it or not, guys, this match is actually rumored to go on last, you know? Main event WrestleMania, which would be great because that's the Royal Rumble winner main eventing it. But it's like the match from Wrestle Kingdom a few years ago. And I think Shinsuke won that match. So Shinsuke may return the favor here and let AJ win. Um, I mean, I feel like this could be Shinsuke's big breakout moment, but I really want AJ to keep the title. I like AJ a lot. You already know your boy Brock Lesnar is about just give the belt to Roman, do the job, lay down for the three, and then, you know, go to the UFC and beat some people up for realsies. And uh, we're going to do with Roman as champion. And, uh, yeah, send them away upset Vince. That's probably why Shinsuke and Styles will be the main event to keep fans from, like, getting super mad. You know, that'll make them happy. And maybe even make them forget about Roman until the next day on Raw. Well, guys, what'd you think? There was my predictions for WrestleMania 34. Hopefully you all did enjoy it. I do thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.